I'm officially recording. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just adjust the microphone a little bit. Okay. Um, we are mm -hmm. well, we're just ignoring the fact Okay. That yeah. So okay. You're a toddler teacher. I am a toddler teacher. And so what is the most important thing you do with these children every day? The most important thing we do with these kids is just embrace them and treat them like individuals on a daily basis. And we really try to be just an extension of their family. You try to do what? Sorry? Be an extension of their family. Uh -huh. Their family. And how do you do that? We embrace every culture as an individual culture and treat them in their unique way. And so what's your very favorite part about working with toddlers? That's quite a challenging job. My favorite part of working with toddlers is never being the same. <laughs> Everything is different. There's never the same day. There's always a different obstacle, always a different perk, and it's something new every day. And so what is the, how, how do you see the natural environment being part of your center curriculum? We really try to embrace the natural environment in Calusa, um, especially we have a lot of natural environments that we can really pull from. We have a great garden that we try to bring in. We do a lot of in natural environments. We try to bring in soft, natural things to introduce them to them so that they are part of the community, part of the environment, and they're all one unit. Do you participate in Mud Day? I love Mud Day. Mud Day is one of our favorite summer activities. It's a blast. It's so refreshing because it gets to be like a hundred out here and we get to go in this huge mud pit and just throw mud at each other and get dirty. It's it's amazing. It's really fun. Everybody should try Mud Day at least once. <laughs> and is it something that's limited just to the center? Um, no, if you want to come and join Mud Day, just let us know. You are more than welcome to come mud mudding with us. Um, we invite parents, we invite grandparents, we invite other staff. Whoever would like to come to Mud Day is more than welcome. I think we had one parent last year who just came and watched, but maybe this year they'll participate. <laughs> so this is really, um, would you say this is really a centerpiece of this community? We would love to consider ourselves the centerpiece of this community. Um, we really want to be a bigger part of our community, and we try to be really involved in our community. And how do you bring the community in? Um, we try to invite the community in for most of our events so that they feel welcome and a part of our center. And we try to make sure that we get it out there in enough time so we can get the response from community members, um, whomever would like to come and participate. Now the tribe got the center started. Right. What's the relationship with the with the uh, Indian tribe? We are on tribal lands, and they are um, they own our land and the preschool, and we have a lot of tribal children, and we try to follow their same philosophies. Which would include what would be an example? Um, healthy family, community, um, healthy lifestyle, education. Um, that's some of the basic things that they try to encourage mm -hmm. as a tribe. Mm -hmm. They think you really want the world to know about this center, your philosophy, your practices. I would like the world to know that we are doing everything we can to be a great center and to really involve our community, our culture, everything that this area has to offer us. We really try to embrace this area and families in all the community mm -hmm. and all the different cultures. Mm -hmm. And what's your very favorite part of working with toddlers? Oh, my very favorite part about working with toddlers. I just, I really love this age. I think they're so much fun and they are always happy to see you. And you could just look and be exhausted from the night before and you come to work and they're like, ah, you're here. So excited to see you. and. The warmth that they give you when you walk in is just amazing. Mm -hmm. so. Now with toddlers, um, can you talk about the importance of routines in your curriculum? Is that something <clears throat> that you, you find is, is a, a centerpiece of your curriculum? Our routine is very important as a toddler teacher. We have a, little, we have a very unique group. Um, we try to keep everything as routine as possible, but of course there's always something that comes up and we just try to roll with it and do what we can. Um, we, we do what we can and we, since we adapt so well to it as teachers, we really encourage and hope that they do as well. So we try to lead by example when it comes to routine. Okay, great, thank you very much. All right.